There is a budget crunch looming in Jefferson County, and the county is looking for ways to save some money. As we first reported, the county jail is releasing inmates. The county is going to release 47 inmates today. As we first told you, 21 have already been released. The budget cut comes after voters shot down a request for money last November. Now, the Jefferson County Fairgrounds is on the chopping block. If you haven't been yourself, chances are you've seen the fairgrounds just off 6th Avenue in Golden, nearing I-70. Connor McHugh is live there, and Connor, there's discussion about the fairgrounds in just about two hours. Yeah, Dominic, with major budget cuts this year and more to come next year, leadership here in Jefferson County tells us they are really looking with a fine-tooth comb to find where they can save money in just about every entity. And here tonight, the county manager will come to meet with the board here at the fairgrounds to find out if this place could essentially pay for itself long term. If not, one of the options would be to close this place down. From childhood to motherhood, the Jefferson County Fairgrounds have been a staple in 4-H leader Christy Manguso's life, and she hopes it stays that way for her kids. These kids are busy, whether they're doing livestock projects or they're doing family and consumer science projects. But the future of this Jeffco staple is uncertain. County leadership wants to move its $1.8 million yearly cost from the general fund to an enterprise fund. That would require it to be self-sustaining. I don't think that's possible with the fairgrounds. If that can't change, one of the other options is even worse for advisory committee chairman Mark Skelton. Recommending to the commissioners that they support it as they have in the past or going in and ceasing all operations at the fairgrounds. That could jeopardize the iconic Western Airs, high school rodeo teams, and 4-H yeah. club along with 1,200 annual events. Where exactly would we host our fair? Christy Manguso calls it all deflating. For her family, the fairgrounds have always been a sacred and safe place full of fun and opportunities. I would hope they listen to all sides and not just the money. I know that's a huge side, but I want them to know that this is a huge, huge opportunity for our youth. Now, there will be no decisions made tonight at this meeting. Instead, the county manager will take everything he learned tonight and bring it to county commissioners on February 4th. He will brief them, and then they will move forward with any of the decision-making process. We are live tonight in Jefferson County. Connor McHugh covering Colorado First.